Welcome to Tech Guy channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change mouse cursor on Windows 7, 8, and 10. The settings are almost the same from Windows 7, 8, or 10. In this video, I am using Windows 10. Users looking for different cursor colors and size, whether for better visibility or simply based on cosmetic preference can follow our simple guide on how to change your mouse cursor in Windows. Changing the cursor to a variety of built-in Windows themes which function as collections of cursors for normal operation, text selection, hyperlinks, etc. is fairly easy, but users can also customize individual images or install themed packs. To change mouse cursor, go to mouse settings by typing mouse or mouse setting on your search box, then press enter. Another way to access mouse settings is on control panel which is the easiest way to do on Windows 8 or 7. The additional mouse options button from the settings will bring us the same properties for the mouse shortcut from the control panel. To continue, select pointers tab. The first option here is scheme. Click the drop down menu and you'll see roughly a dozen different cursor schemes. These are collections of static and animated images that completely replace the default arrow cursor and its associated tools. The variations come in white and black for the best contrast, and in a variety of sizes to suit different screen resolutions and those with poor eyesight. Click on any of the schemes to see a preview of the applicable cursors in the bottom half of the window. You can move back and forth between them to compare the color and size. The inverted schemes are especially useful for those who have a hard time seeing the standard white cursor. When you've found one that looks good to you, click apply to implement the changes. Then return to the mouse properties menu for any additional changes in the future. If you're looking to change one or more individual cursors, that's easy to do as well. In the customize portion of the window, select the cursor you'd like to change. To select a custom cursor for the highlighted individual item, click Browse. That will open the default cursors folder located in C window slash cursors, where hundreds of different cursor options are available. Click one that matches the function of the current cursor, then click open to apply it to the current scheme. You can repeat this step as many times as it takes to get the desired result or click use default to return to the standard cursor for the scheme in question. Repeat the process with any other individual cursors you'd like to change, then click apply to activate them. The enable pointer shadow option adds a cosmetic shadow to the cursor. Next is downloading cursor packs. There are many programs that will install additional cursor schemes or individual cursors to the default menu, such as Stardox Cursor FX, and sites like the Open Cursor Library have dedicated sections for custom cursors. If you've found one or more individual cursors that you want to install manually, you'll need to copy their image files directly to the default cursors folder, usually located at C window slash cursors. The downloaded cursor can actually go to any folder on your PC, but it's usually best to keep all your cursor files in the default folder for easy access. Let's try to download some cursor and change our pointer using it. First, go to your browser, then search for your favorite pointer. Once you have downloaded the mouse cursor scheme file on your Windows PC, you have to extract its contents. But before that, I will move it to my desired folder. Now, right click on it and in the contextual menu, click on the option that says extract here. Now copy and paste to the default cursors folder. Let's go back to mouse properties and use the new cursors. Let's change the normal select pointer. Let's select this, then click apply, then click OK. Now our pointer is changed. Repeat the process with any other individual cursors you'd like to change, then click apply to activate them. 
This covers changing mouse cursor on Windows 7, 8, and 10. If you have a question to ask, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.